is what spring looks like in Montana. Looks super wintry. Yeah, it's pretty though. Hey babe. Hey. I do love this drive, no matter what the season, it's beautiful. Yeah, it is. Cordoba. Cordoba. Quesadilla. Oh, that's a little bit of lettuce right there. Oh, whoops. Wow, it's a huge piece of pepper. Ooh, nice. Oh, it's really Well, let's still go boating. You're going boating? <sighs> All right, finally off work now. Let's get home. Hey, thanks for following along with me. Today we're going to be checking out some New Balance 550s, some advisory board crystals, and a Noah New York tea. Wake up, get lit, wake up, get lit, wake up, get lit, wake up, get lit. Alright, first things first, make sure to subscribe to this channel, hit that like button on this video. Thanks so much for doing that. I am an artist myself. This is my latest creation. I painted this on this t-shirt, all the continents here. You've got this brown, and you've got this black speckling over top of it. I just thought it was, I don't know, something I wanted to do. But I don't know, it kind of goes with my Eric Emanuel uh, stamp shorts. This is kind of nice. But I think that these New Balance 550s are going to go with the shorts even better. Let's open these up real quick. The New Balance 550s were originally released as the P550 in 1989 and they were just newly released with Ame, Leon, Dior, or whatnot, that, that uh, artist there who made a bunch of cool colorways. This one here is the colorway that I just thought was dope, is the gold colorway or that gray color on them. We'll check them out. Looks like from Kith, this is, the, there's the receipt in the box from Kith. They zip tied this on here, so <laughs> I'm gonna have to break this. It's not just gonna slide off. I thought maybe it would slide. Okay, you can just break that off real quick. With our standard New Balance box, this um, navy blue. Here's the tag or, on the box. I did grab these in my true to size. Here's what we're looking at. Nice, pretty cool. Kind of a mustard yellow in a way. It is uh, supposedly the gold colorway, but you know, gold is kind of a hard color to to make. These ones have a little bit of markings on them already. Opening the box, it's got a little bit of uh, darkening on the sole. And then I noticed there's some glue over here already. Little, little tiny pieces of glue on there. So this pair, yeah, looks like it was inspected by Inspector 7 <laughs> on that sticker right there, that tiny little sticker. We'll grab the other one out of here. We'll go ahead and get a good look at these. They're really, really clean, really nice. On the tag, hanging on the shoe, it says Ortholite Comfort Foam Insole. So that is eco-friendly. Looks like it has long-term cushioning, high-level breathability, lightweight comfort. 5% is recycled rubber content, so that's kind of nice. We're getting a little bit of recycled content in this sneaker. I'll go ahead and throw it on feet just kind of see how it fits real quickly a lot of people say that new balance do fit a little bit big and so that's why i ordered my true to size because a lot of times true to size is just going to work best for me it just seems like it does but yeah that color definitely goes with the shorts i think it makes the whole fit kind of flow together pretty well you guys let me know what you think um, but yeah let's go ahead and get some closer shots of these shoes uh, you guys can check them out
right, now we're gonna get into this Noah New York. It's a skate brand, and they make cool tees. And looks like I got a receipt in here with my order. And oh, they also gave away a bunch of stickers. So I have this kind of multicolored Noah sticker. I have this transparent one, and then I got the scripture um, T-shirt uh, graphic. The graphic for that T-shirt. My sticker of that, kind of cool. They do use these eco enclosed bags. It's kind of nice that they're trying to be more sustainable and whatnot. This tea is really cool. I liked the graphic on this. It was a collaboration with Tom Wesselman, licensed by Artist Star New York. So we have all of our sticker tags on this thing. Got the one down in the corner there. Sizing information or, or whatnot. Just some regular plastic here. I do want to actually wear this one. I liked this green colorway and I thought it was really cool with the eyes on this print. So I'm going to take this one out of here. Cotton feels really nice, regular, semi-premium I guess. Here's the tag on the back of the neck. That one there. And this hang tag as well. There's your graphic with the eyes on there. That's captivating blue eyes and then you have Noah on your sleeve there on the back you've got the signature definitely a very dope t-shirt it does fit true to size I'm six foot one about 150 pounds and this is a size large yeah it's it's pretty big you know it's not really oversized for a size large for United States you know size large t-shirts it maybe is a little bit of a drop shoulder but not really that much not really that much of a drop shoulder honestly this one is not drop shoulder at all that I bought I'm trying to get some some better cuts for some eco-friendly shirts this one's 100% organic cotton made ethically in Mexico but yeah I would like them to be a little bit lower and like Noah tees for sure do like this one is gonna be eh. It's gonna fall about the same, a little bit lower. I would throw it on for you, but uh, I need to break into this advisory board crystals fungi tea. Dude, advisory board crystals right now, it's crazy. It's May 2021. I'm watching the NBA playoffs every night. I have no time to do anything. I don't even really want to be making videos right now or any time during these playoffs, but I am because I love you and because I keep this thing going. I mean, I am an artist and I love showing off the different art pieces that I that I grab from these different cool brands like advisory board crystals oh man look at this the packaging already dudes they're trying to make sure that uh, people are getting authentic items because people are starting to create a lot of counterfeit advisory board crystals this is their receipt that comes with it um, yeah, nothing else in there but bubble wrap but yeah this <laughs> this bag is what is this wax paper uh, we do have our tag down here there's your tag down at the bottom and there's the front of it it's a really reflective sticker on there i guess i'm just gonna open this up uh i'm gonna have to tear this amazing looking sticker like why did they put such a cool sticker on just the, the packaging that has to be broken well I guess the paper is too thin, <laughs> so the sticker actually isn't getting destroyed, but, okay. Oh, uh, this is fucking ridiculous, but whatever. Uh, this is the shiitake mushroom colorway for this particular t-shirt. <laughs> One of the reasons why I wanted to get this tie-dye tee. I did get it in a medium. It is a little bit on the smaller side for um, an oversized fit, but it's still oversized. So definitely um, you can size down a little bit with advisory board crystals. Oh, and on the back they have advisory board crystals written in green. I didn't even notice that. They got their pull tab on the back of the neck. I feel like this one is a little bit of a softer material than some of their other ones that they've had. But that's always kind of a cool deal that Advisory Bar Crystals does with putting that pull tab on the back. And on the front, you've got your little tiny crystals there. Yeah, that ain't plastic. Those are, those are crystals. Oh yeah, nice and pretty. Got some sparkle to them. And then the graphic too has the sparkle in there, you can see that that color on there. Such a pretty planet, such an ugly world. Oh, and then on the sleeve, they also have this 
little green globe here. You can barely see it, I feel like, on the print. I don't know, maybe you guys can see it better. Here's on the back of the neck, we've got our, what is this, information tag, I guess, in a way. Yeah, you know. Oh wow, that's done really well. Yeah, totally double-sided. And inside left, you do have your care instructions tag. But yeah, this collection from Advisory Board Crystals to uh, help people learn more about fungi and whatnot. Here's a little Ramdas quote from the Planet Saving Information number three, Fungi Edition, which apparently is going to be available pretty soon here within the next couple days, or it's probably already available now if you want to Google it or look up Advisory Board Crystals on Instagram. But this is an ex excerpt from the book. We are sneaking psychedelics back into our society through research like the MDMA research that's going on, through the research for use of marijuana for pain, through research with the dying with psilocybin, and ultimately we will do the same kind of stuff about alcoholism, about prison rehabilitation, so on. I mean, it's obvious that psychedelics properly used have a behavior changing, psychotherapeutic value. But from my point of view, this is all under using the vehicle. The potential of the vehicle is sacramentally to take you out of the cultural constructs which you are part of a conspiracy in maintaining and giving you a chance to experience once again your innocence. That is just bringing a tear to my eye. I don't know if you guys know it. I don't know. My eyes just may be itchy. I don't know why. But yeah, uh, I would love to have a little bit of an experience with uh, a trained professional to help just help my mind view just recenter and understand what's what's all really important and everything i gotta try and find other ways to do it right now just regathering my mind and so that's why i was so in love with the ways of jesus for so long because his ways was love and acceptance of all people but now it seems like anybody who calls themselves a follower of jesus is categorized as somebody who doesn't accept all people <laughs> which is totally weird because it's like opposite of what jesus was but anyways yeah what advisory board crystals is doing is super amazing i really uh love their movement very near and dear to my heart i want to see everybody just caring for each other and helping each other and living off the land and understanding that you have to take life to sustain it and understand that there's a spiritual connection there and we should have that and you know yeah everybody matters the whole planet everything all that so i'll go ahead i'll throw this one on this one is very boxy i think i'm gonna like the fit so let's check it out yeah, okay. This is, this is totally a dope summer fit. I like the length. I was kind of worried it was going to be too short, but it's kind of nice when I'm wearing, you know, summer shorts to not have shirts that are super crazy long so it looks like my shorts aren't, you know, <laughs> I don't know. They make them look weird. And I'm not into the Warren Lattice wearing his crazy long shorts again. Everybody's trying to bring that back in style or some people, not everybody. I'm definitely not into it. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to rock this with these shorts, these colors. I mean, they're kind of in this graphic, I guess, in a way, maybe. You guys tell me, what do you think? It might work. I know it goes really well with my tad. Oh my goodness, fuck, dude. This goes so well, it looks great, but yeah. A little bit of shine up there. You got the back on there, you got those graphics. But uh, yeah, what do you think? You like it? Will it go well with these New Balance? Or do uh, you think this shirt is gonna go well? <laughs> this Noah tee? I don't know if this is gonna go well with these New Balance. Actually, damn, actually that yellow and green is a fire combo, so I might have to find just some basic shorts to, to rock this with, but uh, anyways, uh, hope you enjoyed this review, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.